It's cocaine. It's cotton candified cocaine. Can is that a thing that exists? Can you have cotton candy cocaine? It still looks like shit. You can see the brown, disgusting, shit-colored tree underneath of that. Uncolored cotton candy on top of a nice big lump of shit. It's fu <laughs> They're fucking eating fiberglass. If ketamine melts prob properly, probably. See, I'd be much more interested in that, personally, if that were cotton candified ketamine. That's a fun little thing to say there. Cotton candified ketamine. Is this a fucking jello pie? With almonds? Is it just me or does the dough itself not even look appetizing? Like, that's not what dough should look like, right? Oh, no. And they're making it even worse. Actually, that somehow looks more edible than it, how it looked before. They just wasted so much fucking shit, right? Didn't they? Are they gonna cut that? Oh, yeah, they're cutting off so much of that. What a fucking waste. Wait, what? That was the whole video? Oh, there's a part two, okay. Oh, well, obviously we have to watch this. Yeah, only African children would be starving enough to actually enjoy this. The snowman is fucking terrible because it's yellow, not white. What is this, fucking piss snowman? Is this a piss snowman? Oh, as if it couldn't get worse, they put fucking coconut on it? That is about the least appetizing thing that I've ever seen. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Oh my god, there's no way. You look at his face. There is no fucking way that he enjoyed that bite. That guy's screaming internally. He's like, how the fuck did I get myself wrapped up in this shitty little production? I'm getting paid like $5 an hour to make this shit. I could go back to my wife in Romania, but no. They fucking enslaved him. They enslaved this guy and they forced him to eat fucking clear jello all day. All right, what's this? Pokeball burgers. They're starting off strong by sticking a hot dog into a fucking pepper. Why'd they say pizza dough? That's pizza dough? What are these fucking mini hot dogs from hell? Oh, even worse! Sushi hot dogs from hell. Oh, come on, that doesn't even begin to look good. I don't understand how somebody could make beef and cheese look unappetizing, yet they somehow did. <laughs> I thought they were gonna be bulls, but no. No, it's way worse than that. Oh no, oh god, what is this gonna look like inside? Oh! Oh! Oh my god. No! I would rather eat a homeless man's asshole than let that thing anywhere near my mouth. How the fuck? Can we just like take a look at this real quick? Look at that! How do you eat that? That's not gonna fit in your mouth. I'm fucking sickened. Sickened. Oh, do you see? It just, it's all green. It looks like mold is growing all over it. Oh my God. You just inhale it in one bite and hope that you choke and fucking die so that you don't have to live with the memory of ever having fucking eaten that thing. Oh no, are they making caramel? Oh my God, how are they gonna bastardize caramel? I'm curious how, how oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, how are they gonna ruin caramel? I know it's coming. Are these guys vampires? Why are they so obsessed with red food coloring? <laughs> They're like vegan vampires or something. Oh, 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 you guys see that little wink there? That was hot. Oh, oh, it wasn't even a good wink. They don't even know how to wink well. They look like some fucked up burritos. The only way that this could be worse if it was a burrito and it was just stuffed with beans. A uh, giant nacho table. Well, they can't fuck up nachos, right? Wait, are they just teaching us how to make a table? They can't even make tables right. Why do they have to set up this giant table for this? And why did they have to show us them setting up the table? Oh my God, no, they're gonna cover the entire table with nachos. I just realized what's about to happen here. Oh no! You don't have to do this! You know plates exist, right? Doritos? You're putting fucking- you're using Doritos as nachos. <laughs> Pringles? How fucking- <sighs> The audacity of Chef Club. Wait, there's Cheetos? They put fucking hot Cheetos and I missed it? Part two iceberg lettuce, shut the fuck up. Don't fucking jinx it one night. <laughs> Why does he put so much force into it? What? Like, watch that. Watch that. <laughs> He's like, tw tw yeah, fuck you, sour cream, dude. There's like way too much shit. You've got to. 
a little too much shit going on here. And it's not even good nacho cheese either. Look at that. That's the fucking cheap shit right there. They put the f <laughs> They've got like Mexican music going on with <laughs> this fucking purple filter as if this is actually a beautiful thing that's happening right now and not a fucking affront to God. Here I was thinking too that the Pringles were gonna act as like a wall, like a fucking Jon Snow wildlings keep the keep the cheese in no no they threw the fucking nacho cheese onto those pringles and they didn't have a moment's hesitation to think you know are we spitting in the face of god by doing this wait they added pickles i missed that they added fucking pickles Ugh. who puts pickles on nachos i'd rather go right now shove my hand as far as i can into my toilet and just pull out whatever's in there and chow down on it, rather than eating any of the food that these fucks have made. Pickles have no place being on nachos. No place! I don't even like not uh, pickles to begin with, but when you put them on nachos, that is something sacred to me. I fucking love nachos. I will eat nachos any day of the fucking week. And you have the gall, the impudence, to put the most disgusting thing that man has ever created Onto my favorite dish. We need to charge these fuckers for war crimes, man. All right, next one title is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Cake. Has a very shiny nose like a light bulb. They better not. Honestly, if they put an actual light bulb onto this, it's probably going to be the most edible part of the meal. Let's take a look. Somehow, I didn't think it was possible to achieve an affront to humanity worse than genocide, but these people have discovered a way. <laughs> The second video got marked for potentially sensitive content. That's how fucking bad the part two is. That they're like, Twitter's like, you probably shouldn't watch this if you want to continue to have a good night. <laughs> that means people were so fucking distraught and disturbed by this video that they actually went out of their way to report it to Twitter, who then blocked it from the general public's view. Oh, that looks like cat shit. That looks like cat food. That looks like cat food turned into cat shit by the cat. <laughs> they are using a light bulb. And as I said, it's the it's the most edible part of this entire thing. That wasn't the worst. That wasn't as bad as I was expecting it to be. Twitter Twitter fucked me up there by marking it as sensitive content. What is that? Is that mozzarella cheese? <laughs> oh no, I already don't like where this is going. That's entirely too much cheese. That is entirely too much cheese. And they're adding more? They're adding more? This hurts my soul. This is shocking me to my fucking core right now. What is, is that? No. Oh my God, that's the solidified fucking thing of cheese and french fries and beef. Oh, that's what they were dipping at the beginning. I think you'd literally die if you ate that. If you even took one bite, your body would spiral into a fucking food coma and you wouldn't wake up until 2077. You're not gonna shit for two fucking weeks if you eat that, if you even so much as look at that funny. Hey, okay, good combination of ingredients there. How are they gonna ruin it? Ah, oh, that's how. Oh. Oh, God. I feel my arteries clogging. Oh, come fuck off. Yeah, even that guy didn't like it. He, he like, took a bite and he was like, oh, fuck. Oh, right, I'm supposed to pretend that I like this. Oh, oh, boy, that's good. I'm getting a high off of this. Torturing myself is fun. This is like BDSM with more steps. Well, it's all just fucking burnt and melting now. It's <laughs> just the top part's all... The top was completely burned. It doesn't look good to me. I think you guys are losing it. That looks like a shit cup filled with like liquid diarrhea lit on fire as if shit couldn't taste worse. It's burnt shit. I like how they just fucking like skip like 20 steps ahead. They're like, oh shit, we completely fucked this one up. All right, grab a new one. We got to make a new bowl. Look at that. It just boom. And it's a bowl. Boom. Just like that. All right, when's the cheese coming? I know that you're going to fill this with cheese. When's it coming? Just, it's a matter of time. Wait, 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 instead of cheese, are they filling it with baked potato? Because that's somehow worse. Oh, there's the cheese. There's the fucking cheese. Oh, dude. Oh, that was way too much mushroom. That looks disgusting. 
Okay, well, the chives, that probably saved it. The chives probably saved it. Alright, 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 what do we got here? Oh, Jesus Christ. Starting off strong. This is the exact reason why, uh, people hate me. <laughs> give, it, give it a good fucking slap. Dude, he is... He's getting a little too sexual with that turkey for me. I think that this dude's gonna pull a big mouth on this turkey. I can see why this one... This one was marked for sensitive content, right? Because I can fucking see why. That is disturbing. He gave the, the fucking turkey an internal feel down. W watching the part twos is like... If... <laughs> Hotel Rwanda had a sequel. Wait... Wait. Oh. Ah! Ah! Oh! <laughs> you gotta spread that turkey's asshole a bit better, my guy. Yeah, look at you. You managed to fit a whole fucking Eiffel Tower up a turkey's keister. Good for you, man. I'm proud. Oh my god, it's burnt. It looks disgusting. It looks fucked. It's disgusting. It's fucked. 